guys love 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 fishing you never know what can happen and this morning i was expecting maybe a dorado hopefully a tuna and then to come out looks like we're on <laughs> it's insane baby oh yes what <laughs> Wait. Oh. absolutely stunning obviously very upset with me <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, absolutely epic. There's awesome Sally. Oh my word, there she swims off. <laughs> you just gotta love that. Yeah, baby, welcome to another exciting episode of Real Excitement. This morning, I took a little snook paddle all the way up to the lighthouse with some small uh, strike pros. Didn't manage to get a snook, did manage to get live bait. So I've got one out on the top, one down on the bottom two mozzies paddling slowly I'm in 20 meters of water now going straight out of the lighthouse I'm gonna hit about 24 25 meters and then make my way down south there's not a lot of oaks out on the water today it's very surprising it's a Sunday it was a big competition on yesterday and I'm guessing everybody's tired from the compo so hopefully we can burgle some fish while the other oaks are asleep you'll see this time of year I've always got the popper loaded it's almost essential, something erupts, you've only got a few seconds to get that popper, put it in position, one, two pops and you're on. You see the dolphin, same thing, and if you get a dory along the ski and there's another one with it, same thing, you put that rod down, have a few pops to see if you can't get a double up. So I always opt to keep him loaded and keep him right here next to me, ready for action. You'll notice I'm wearing some socks, it's the same reason I wear long pants, the same reason I wear a long sleeve t-shirt just to cover myself up. I'm out here so often in the elements, I try and stay away from the sun as much as possible. We all know it's very dangerous, as awesome as it is. So I either wear my booties or I just throw on a pair of socks. And believe me, when I get back and that sand is a scorcher of 100 degrees, these socks really help. While everybody's running across the bank, I can just take a slow mosey on walk down. Great bait showing. Always like to slow down when I get a good bait showing. Let the bait just sink down and get into the zone a little bit. I see a little smooth slick on the water here. Some blue bottles. And that gives me hope. No plastic or anything like that, but the blue bottles still indicate a current line for sure. That bait's interesting. Yeah, all my lines here. Yeah. <laughs> it was so weird. I thought it was feeling so strange. 
I don't know what it was, and obviously you didn't know it was hooked. This is on a 5.0 Mustad circle, so gotta fight it very calmly. He might have taken it inside. We'll have to see. Definitely gonna release it. <laughs> Just wanna see here. Uh, okay, I got my pliers. What you need, pliers. You're also gonna need a buff to grab the bell. You know, it's been absolutely quiet today. Very, very, very quiet. And all of a sudden, <laughs> some action, and it's a sailie. Can you believe that? <laughs> Maybe get one or two stills. And that'll be that. Put her back. I don't mind if she busts me off on a like, long line release. I really rather put her under as little stress as possible. Got a very light leader, so if she busts me up, I don't mind. Oh! <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Love, love, love fishing. You never know what can happen. And this morning I was expecting maybe a Dorado, hopefully a tuna, and then to come out and end up with an awesome Sailly. You just gotta love that. Typical, took a few jumps, realized that didn't work, so it started to sound. I think it's realized that's not working. <laughs> it's gonna up for the surface again. Let's see if we can get one or two more awesome jumps. You don't want to get these fish to the ski green because obviously there's a big nose, big spear attached to the front of it, and uh, that can be very dangerous. Uh, it's always an amazing surprise when one of these come up. I'm using that Assassin Seriola. And I uh, actually brought both of them out today. Expecting to catch one or two tuna out here. I am on the deeper side of the barge. The much deeper side actually. I went all the way out to go look for a dory or a tuna in the deeper water. And it was just so quiet out there. So I ended up just coming back in. And uh, about halfway back, probably around 30 meters of water. And bang, <laughs> on with an awesome surprise. Ooh. I'm a bit worried about that light leader, to be honest. Under so much pressure for so long on, uh, I mean, that builds like sandpaper, so. So keep that in mind. Good job. <laughs> Would have preferred the Sailie to dance for us and use her energy that way. But the Sailie is a bit smarter than that. She saw she wasn't winning like that and she went straight down. Sounding properly now, she's going to use her weight and her broadness against me. Short little burst, if I can get. Any bit of line counts. <laughs> so yeah, just like a tuna, short bursts, when it starts coming, you just want to keep it coming. I'm just going to keep her like that, idling alongside. Here comes the head. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, oh, <laughs> Look at that head now. It's a little bit violent. Got my buff ready. As soon as I can get hands on that bow, I'll grab her. And then, aim of the game is to not let go. Once you get a hold of that bow, don't let go. The struggle is real sometimes, but you can't let go. So I'm going to pack some of my rods away in case it does get a bit hair raising. Okay, feel a bit better now. Everything's packed away just in case it does end up flipping me. 
close out my back catches. And there we go. We're ready to rumble now. Deck is clear. Let's put a little bit more gears on this fish. I don't want to tire her out completely. She's coming up again. Tighten the drag, put a little bit more gears. I'm more willing to part with that line now. I just don't want to fight her to the point where she just can't revive herself. And I don't have a motor, so I can't kick in gear and hold her to revive her. I need her to have a little bit of energy left. So. Absolutely awesome. Okay. Nice and close. Oh, absolutely stunning. It's a little bit bigger than I originally thought. Obviously not impressed. <laughs> Obviously very upset with me. I think you just gotta watch out that you don't have that nose pointed directly at you because it just kicks into gear with that big tail. It's coming straight out the water. Yeah, baby. Getting the pliers ready too. <laughs> so hold on. Once you've got it, don't let it go. That's why I packed everything away. Just in case. Okay, the circle's got him right. In the scissor. Typical. Anyway, that circle. That's why I use the circle. Try to put him on board here for a second. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yeah, baby. There's an awesome Sally. I don't want to keep it out for too long. Still got some good energy on it. Oh my word! There she swims off. Absolutely epic! <laughs> that just made my morning. I'm gonna paddle back. You can see the water's a lot more green on the inside here. Yeah? That beautiful blue water on the outside. You can see there's a much bigger sandbank over here. So instead of me going in there, you want to go in in the gully really. So what I'm going to do is paddle a little bit further up. They're going to come in and around this corner. And I'm going to know that if I catch a wave here on this bank, that I need to be heading left because it's breaking from my right. Breaks from the right, head left. Break from the left, head right. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here, just wait until the biggest set comes past you, and obviously you'll feel those big bumps, and then they'll break on the bank. As soon as that's come past, I start nudging my way towards the bank. I let the next two or three waves come past, and then hit that gap perfectly over the bank. Let's see if we can put that to practice. God. Hey, but the game is not to catch the biggest wave. But you do want to catch a wave. Just like that. Over the bank. But I love the boost, rides a wave like a pro. I never like to rush in after I've crossed the bank because there can be quite a big wave landing on the beach. So take it slow. Just time it. I like to beach with my ski like this because my handle's on this side and you always want to be on the inside of your ski, never on that side because the wave's going to hit your ski and hit you. Okay, I'm going to let this one go past. It's going to work on his back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of Real Excitement.